The little town of Ringe, 6,500 strong, is the site for the NE10 championship for the second straight year and for the number one team in the country for Division II, the Franklin Pierce University Ravens. The Ravens are trying to win back-to-back NE10 championships while the Lemoyne Dolphins are trying to complete this improbable postseason run and get their first title since 2009. Dolphins are 11-21-1 all-time over the Ravens but the Ravens have the advantage. In the postseason, we are underway. Lemoyne will start with the ball. Finds a wide open Prego. Prego trying to settle it down. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Breaks by Stewart into the box, trying to find Pastor. Ancella's shot is blocked. Prego put on the brakes. Gets by a Lemoyne defender. Prego into the box, Pastor! And it might have been blocked by Stewart. Now Bradillo Rodriguez. They move Anchel to Pastor's position. Rodriguez trying to find space. Makes a player miss. Rodriguez going back for it and cannot get a clean shot on it. Back to Rodriguez. Can they get him going? Rodriguez a shot and just wide of the post. Whenever he has the ball you really think he's going to do something special. Almost makes his magic happen. A low kick. Martinez will send one into the box trying to find Gutierrez. Keeps it alive in the box. Loose in front. Goodridge able to clear it. But it works back to the Ravens. Now Lopez sent one into the box and caught by Marr. Sending it long down the far silence. Rodriguez trying to find space on Bozak. Rodriguez into the box. Saved by Marr. Loose in front. And Bozak is able to clear it. Final second stick away, and that will do it for the first half of the NE10 championship. Ravens, Dolphins deadlocked at zero. Now Ferry. Ferry finds Rodriguez. Bozak behind. Trying to settle it down. Rodriguez trying to find space into the box. Effort and blocked. Ancho with the shot and blocked. Desperately, who else? Goodrich. What a play by Goodrich. Getting right in front of Ancho. Now Spurdito, now, now Card. Card will send it all the length of the field, trying to connect. And the Lemoyne gets it back. Stewart, now Spurdito, and a great sliding tackle by Aguado. Ancho will take the kick, send it into the box, finding Diaz and broken up by Lemoyne. Ferry will settle it down. A low kick, finding Rodriguez, a shot, low, and it's in! It's Bradillo Rodriguez. The Ravens are off and running. One now, and look at this crowd. Who else but the leading goal scorer this season for the Ravens? Rodriguez, his third goal of the postseason. This crowd is electrifying. They are on fire. Best crowd we've seen all season. And Rodriguez punches it through. The Ravens have been oh so close to burying it. And they do off the corner kick. Bozak has a lot of room in front of him. And a bad pass. A turnover by Martinez. Finds a wide open Rodriguez. In all alone with Mar. Rodriguez, he scores! A costly turnover by Bozak. Martinez with the steal. Finds a wide open Rodriguez. Ravens 2-0. Fans are at the fence in a maze. Ravens ready to storm the field. That is it. The Ravens are back to back. Any 10 champions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the most outstanding player award for the 2022 Northeast 10 Championship. Presented this evening to Bradilio Rodriguez from Franklin Pierce University. And now the 2022 Northeast 10 men's soccer champions, the Franklin Pierce University Ravens. Congratulations to the Franklin Pierce University Ravens and the Lemoyne College Dolphins for an outstanding season and performance at the 2022 Northeast 10 men's soccer championship. First of all, just congratulations on the win here tonight. Oh, thank you, thank you. This was a tight game going into the second half, still scoreless. How did you expect your team to respond against a pesky, tough defensive Lemoyne team? 
Yeah, first of all, <clears throat> credit to Lemoyne. Uh, obviously, our only tie of the season as well. Uh, super well organized, well coached group. Uh, good, good bunch of players. Um, and again, was just telling the guys to keep doing what they were doing because the, the chances were coming. It just wasn't falling. So we just continue to be patient, and and the goal would come. Brodelia Rodriguez scored the first goal and added another for the Ravens. How did you expect him to get going offensively in the second half? Was shut down a little bit in the first half. Felt like it was only a matter of time for him to break through in that second half. Yeah, we had asked our central midfielders <clears throat> to get into wider areas in the first half, which was not a good idea, so that was our fault. Um, and then in the second half, we had asked our midfielders to stay more inside just to create some space out wide, and I think that opened things up a little bit for Brow. Two-time defending any 10 champions. What does this win mean in terms of legacy and just really cementing yourself and your team as a powerhouse in the conference? Yeah, no, just happy for the guys. Great bunch of guys. We have uh, a lot of new guys this year that have been great for the culture of the team and obviously on the field. And then we have a lot of returners from last year that obviously won a championship, but then felt a lot of pain in the Sweet 16 when we lost to Millersville. So I'm just happy for these guys to be able to do it again, and hopefully we can keep going. Thank you for taking the time, Coach. And again, congrats on the victory tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I brought Dilo Rodriguez, the MVP for the second straight year. Talk to me how you're feeling right now. Another NA10 championship. I'm very happy for, for me, for all the boys. Uh, we did an amazing season, but we achieved the same we achieved last year, and the objective is to repeat what we did last year and do more. So we want more, and we are ready and focused towards coming. What was going through your mind when you saw Martinez get that steal and got you on that pass wide open on that breakaway? Uh, I just know I had to run. Uh, this is what we talk about. I had to run. I find the space. He find me. Like, he always find me all, all, every game, all the time. And hopefully I scored a goal and it was amazing. An impressive season for you. Another one in the history books when the most assists in the semifinals in a single game. That is a program record. And when you look at all that, everything you've accomplished in the last two years, what has been the most rewarding thing? I mean, the most important thing is me enjoying the time with the boys, winning the trophies, and continuing to work uh, towards coming because we know it's not going to be easy, and that's why we focus on. Doesn't matter the seats, the, the the records, the MVPs. As long as the team succeed and I can contribute, like every single of the boys contribute in the field, off the field, in training, that's the the most important thing. How are you feeling right now? Just everything in general, just having this fan base, really everyone supporting you the entire year. Very happy. I mean, we have uh, amazing friends, amazing fans. Uh, we try to do the same to them when they are playing, supporting them, because they, are, they do that for us every single game, um, and they're going to continue doing it until the end. MVP Bradil Rodriguez, back-to-back -back MVPs for this man right next to me. What another great day at Sadesco Field and Ringe. The Ravens are the NE10 champions for the second straight year. Rich Rosa alongside Bradil Rodriguez.